Hi, we're underneath the hood of our 1969 Chevelle convertible. This particular car did not start life as an SS car. It wasn't a big block car, but it is now. It represents itself as a real 396 SS in every way that, that could possibly be uh, uh, looked at. Engine is a 396, three and a quarter horse, has a standard cast iron intake manifold on it, cast iron exhaust manifolds on it, the correct valve pan covers, quadrajet carburetor, the correct air cleaner with the correct designation on it, all new hoses, all new belts, has power steering, does not have power brakes, the correct semi-flat black uh, paint on the uh, fender wells, heater hose is hooked up and functional, 7 blade clutch fan with the shroud, big four pass or yeah it's at least a four pass heavy duty radiator that would be correct for a big block Chevelle in this era. Also a chrome uh, uh, cover on the front of it here which is normally uh, painted flat black. Car has a really really strong looking engine compartment, very well detailed, everything looks to be correct on the car in every way. It is not a numbers correct engine as I previously stated, but the car is in every way an absolutely gorgeous 396 big block Chevelle convertible to drive at this point. Let's walk around this guy and see what it looks like outside. Okay, across the front end of our uh, uh, SS396 style Chevelle convertible, 1969. Correct bulge hood the way they came from the factory. The chrome uh, vents on the back are absolutely gorgeous. No pitting, no deterioration whatsoever on them. Paint on this car is exemplary. It's just absolutely beautiful. It has a real nice uh, deep finish to it, a nice wet look. The gaps, as you can see, are really, really exemplary. They, uh, uh, they're about an eighth of an inch the whole way around this thing, just as nice as could possibly be on the hood. Chevelle designation in the front. Header panel, very, very nice. No dings or stone chips or marks anywhere on it. Headlight basils, the way they should be with the black uh, uh, painted uh, area around them. Grill, same way. Uh, the plastic is just nice. No chips or marks on it anywhere. The black inset, the uh, argent silver trim around it. Just as new as could possibly be. Headlight basils on this side the same way as the other, just flawless. SS396 designation. Black uh, header panel in the front here. This filler panel uh, really looks good in black. Chrome on the front bumper and alignment is just as precise as you could possibly hope to find one. Very, very nice car so far. Brand new, and I mean brand new, clear white lenses in the front. And the chrome on the bumper doesn't have any marks or dings in it anywhere. Just a really nice front end on this car so far. I mean, I haven't found a single mark on the front of it. Presents itself very well. Great color combination. I mean, I just love the front end of this car. It really looks great. Let's see what's on the side of it for you. Okay, down our driver's side of our uh, 69 Chevelle convertible. You see the striping is correct for 1969 uh, SS style striping. Wheel with molding, really, really nice. Side micro light, real nice. The paint on this car is just gorgeous everywhere. Uh, SS396 designation, just the way it should be. Fitment, you can see here the rocker panel, door, front fender. Everything is just as precise as you could hope to find. It is a convertible, obviously. Top is absolutely brand spanking new on this car. It looks like it's just been put on. It really is a nice looking top. Trim around the window, really, really nice. Correct arms and blades are kind of hidden down in there. You can't see them, but they are the correct for this model, arms and blades for this era Chevelle. Again, the trim around the window, really, really sharp. Nice. Uh, wipes, whiskers, just as fresh as could possibly be. The stainless, where it makes to the um, paint on the side of the car is just Really, really nice fit finish. Very, very nice. Windshield, it's not faded, maybe a little tiny bit, 
the paint on the front of it looking straight down through the windshield uh, uh, area onto the uh, glass, through the glass to the uh, uh, dashboard area. That faded just a little bit, not very much. Dash pad looks to be real nice and still original. Again, door handles just as nice as could be. Chrome's really nice on them. Door. No marks, no chips, no nothing so far. Nice fitment, door to quarter panel. Trim around the back of the uh, convertible top. Well, the top is brand new. It is absolutely brand new. Glass window in the back also. And the boot is in the well. It does have a boot for this convertible top when you put it down. We left the top up so that you can see the condition of the top and that it is a brand new top. Obviously it does go down and gives it a lot sharper look, but we want to see you to see it with the uh, top up at this point. You will see pictures of it with it down though. Again, the size stripe, really, really nice. Wheel well moldings, no marks so far, absolutely nothing. Set of Cobra, Cooper Cobra uh, white letter tires on it with the correct style Kelsey Hayes trim ringed 14 inch wheels that would have come on this car had it been a 396 car in 1969 really adds a lot of originality to the car. Really, really looks good. Same thing on the nice sharp tin on it. Bumper fitment in the back is nice. Side marker, nice. There is absolutely nothing on the side of this car that's out of place. No marks, no dings, no chips, no misalignment. Laser straight down the sides. Let's see what's out the back. All right, around the back end of our 69 Chevelle convertible now. Okay, I wonder what color it is, huh? Fitment of the uh, deck lid. Paint on the deck lid is absolutely, as it was on the hood, you could not find a nicer paint job than this. Honestly, this is as nice a paint as you'll ever find on a car without getting into foot deep, uh, multi layered show quality paint. This is as nice as it gets. About an eighth of an inch gap the whole way around. Really nice hat. I don't like this. This is up just a hair. A little bit loose. Needs to be adjusted. Once I adjust this, this is going to come in the line. It'll be fine. It's the only thing we found so far. A little minor adjustment. Chevelle designation on the back. Uh, no pitting or what, anything whatsoever on it. SS396 designation. Black filler panel in uh, semi-flat black the way it should be. Trim around the uh, tail lights, uh, no pitting, no nothing, really nice condition, nice clear lenses, nice and shiny yet, both sides, very, very nice. Chrome on the bumper, I don't know how you could get much better than that. The fitment, the fitment of the bumper is the same as the front bumper, it's absolutely precision, couldn't possibly be any better than it is. Very nice duplications of the original style uh, exhaust tips. Not exact, but very, very, very close. Uh, two brand new exhaust tips on there for you. Back end of this car is just as nice as could possibly be without this little, all we have to do is just a quick adjustment on that and this, that's the only defect we've found so far. Let's see what's on the passenger side. Okay, up the passenger side of our SS396 Chevelle Big Block. Convertible, side marker light, really nice, same way, nice sharp fender lips, wheel well moldings, no dents, no dinghies, trim around the back, paint on his quarters the same as it was. We still have not found uh, a paint chip or a mark or any deviation other than that little tiny bit of an adjustment on the deck lid on the right hand side, that's it. Wipes on this side, mimic the ones on the other side, just as nice as can be, brand new door handles. Look at this fitment, this is amazing, look. There's absolutely no deviation whatsoever from panel to panel. Wipes whiskers in the front the same way, trim around the window, just absolutely gorgeous. As I stated, wiper arms and blades, correct for this, uh, uh, this year. Door paint. No, there's no stone chips or marks or, or deviations or anything so far in this car. Nothing. 
door front fender, same way as it was on our rest of it. Why would that be any different? SS396. Very, very nice fitment with everything. Wheel lip molding. Back to our front bumper with the precision fit that we have on front and back on this car. Very nice fitment of this car the whole way around. Uh, it is not a correct per se 138 code 396 uh, big block numbers matching Chevelle convertible. But if it was, you'd be paying uh, $60,000 for the car. You're going to be really surprised at what you can purchase this car for. The overall condition of this car is absolutely exemplary. You just watch me go over the whole car. Uh, no marks, no dings, no chips. Laser straight on both sides. The fitment of all the panels is fantastic. You're going to see a, vi a video presentation of the interior shortly here. And we're going to do an undercarriage also for you to see the uh, uh, quality of the uh, undercarriage of this vehicle and the fitment under there. Um, I can't see a single reason why somebody wouldn't do cartwheels over having something like this. And you know what? It just dawned on me. You know why people love banana collared cars? Because they have appeal. Okay, we're in our 69. Uh, Chevelle SS396 style convertible, banana yellow. Uh, really great car on the outside. We just went over everything there for you. The interior is the same as the outside of this car. Really a great car. The boot is in the well in the back where you put the top down. Uh, Devin will probably show you that with the top down and, and some uh, pictures here shortly. The interior is vinyl and cloth inserts, which kind of makes it kind of neat since it is black. At least you don't get third degree or second degree burns whenever you sit down on a uh, black seat with the top down in the uh, in the sun. So it, it does have a plus having the uh, cloth interior in it. Original style headrests on it. Back seat, front seat match. Door panels in the back, door panels in the front all match and they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, all the trim on them is nice as can be. SS designation 396 on the uh, door panels the way they should be. Door handles nice. Window cranks all fresh and nice. Carpeting, a little tiny bit of fade, nothing to get excited about. Just a little bit through the years, you could with a spray can, which we may re dye it just a little bit to uh, freshen it up, but uh, no wear whatsoever on it, not even on your heel pads or anything. They do have the SS uh, floor mats with them. Dashboard is nice and clean as can be. The faces, uh, the plastic is nice and clear. The faces are nice and bright on it. It does have the uh, uh, idiot lights in the gauge package. However, it does have a trio of functional uh, gauges underneath, oil pressure, amp, volt, um, and water temperature. Again, the uh, dashboards, which we addressed from through the windshield uh, view, the padding is original and really, really nice on this car. It's not uh, deteriorated or cracked up in any way. All the chrome on the dashboard is very nice. Really nice touch on this is a uh, wooden steering wheel with the tri spoke, uh, split tri spokes on it. Original sun visor still on it, nice, no marks or anything on the mirror, it's not deteriorated any. Uh, the pads for the top are absolutely gorgeous, and the uh, top liner itself is nice. Uh, it, it is a brand new top on this vehicle, it functions as it should. It's a great car inside, there's absolutely nothing out of place. Uh, I can't see a single thing to tell you a negative on the inside of this car. We got one more thing to do, and that's the undercarriage. So we'll address that in just a few minutes here. We got we got right turn signal. We got left turn signal. We have a gas gauge that does function. We have a temperature gauge that's coming up. We have an amp gauge that doesn't know what it's doing. And uh, we have an oil pressure gauge that's holding good oil pressure. Um, we have a horn that works. Uh, we have wipers that work. Uh, we have a speedometer that we're going to show you working here in just a second. You can see it's starting to come up, speedometer. No problem. Again, turn signals working as they should. Really, really nice. I like this car. I used this car for about three days, shaking it down, making sure everything was good on it. Uh, car runs out exemplary. Goes down the road straight as an arrow. I know everything about 
the way the car runs because I have been using it to uh, just run around for a little bit. Again, 60 pounds of oil pressure. Temperature gauge starting to go up now. I think we're up to about 150 degrees. The power top obviously works. We have it down now. But look, no hands on the wheel. Straight as an arrow down the road. Absolutely no, no problems. Now let's try it with no brakes with no hands. Let's try it again. Really nice run car. Very tight. Everything on this car is tight and precise. The steering is very positive in every way. Uh, no shakes, shimmies, rattles, no squeaks. The verbal top goes up and down flawlessly. No water leaks. Runs great with no water leaks. Nice run. Somebody only have a lot of top down of time with this baby. Hi, we're underneath our 1969 SS style Chevelle 396 in a convertible, banana yellow, beautiful, beautiful car. But we'll address the undercarriage for you. Heavy duty sway bar in the front, just like an SS car would have. It does have ventilated drum brakes in the front, does not have discs. Two and a quarter inch uh, primary pipes coming off the standard cast iron style exhaust manifolds. The frame sections in the front are really nice, new shocks in the front, ball joints are brand new in the front also. Uh, all the steering gear appears to be very, very tight, the bushings are nice and fresh looking yet. A little ripple on the oil pan where someone inadvertently through the years uh, apparently tried to jack it up. Also a little bit on the, uh, the shielding, that goes, this little tin shield that goes over the uh, uh, bell housing area. New vacuum modulator on our turbo tranny. Nice, nice car in the front. The original brake lines, original fuel line. Very, very solid car. The floor pans are the original floor pans. They have not been replaced, nor do they need to be. The car's really straight underneath. Real nice straight. Also, notice no leaks on the engine, the bell housing area, or the transmission area. Absolutely none. Zero. Rear mount is uh, fairly fresh also on the uh, transmission. Frame going back, and uh, this car does have a, a full perimeter type frame on it. Uh, there's no marks that I can, no, there are none. There are absolutely no jack marks on this frame uh, where it has been uh, lifted up through the years. A lot of the Chevelles you'll notice that do have them. This particular one does not. <clears throat> Structural supports on the uh, uh, base of the uh, Floor pans are original. They still have the original sound deadener undercoating that GM uh, supplied from the factory intact yet. Still nice and clean actually in a lot of places. Uh, no dents at all in it. Um, no one's jacked them up through the uh, years on the floor pans. Like I said, functional parking brake assembly. Uh, the lines are original also and the uh, uh, all associated hardware is all original for the parking brake too. Nor does it need to be replaced. 
a set of turbo style under chassis mufflers in the back that you'll see shortly here but we're about halfway back through the car and there's absolutely nothing detrimental underneath this vehicle everything is nice you can see no leaks exhaust system is nice and fresh looking uh, relatively new u-joints on the drive shaft again no leaks on the entire drive line as you can see you'll see the uh, rear end here shortly um, there's absolutely nothing out of place pulling lines are still good newer starter on the uh, uh, engine car is really straight guys it's really a nice car underneath let's see what's on the back half of it okay I'm gonna try to get over this first we had a guy cutting grass over here now we have a guy next to us weed eating but we'll do our very best to go ahead and finish this uh, uh, video shoot uh, again the turbo style mufflers uh, underneath the chassis really really a nice brand new set uh, two and a quarter in two and an eighth I would say out uh, swing arm assemblies in the back are absolutely undisturbed, unfortunately uh, twisted or anything. The uh, body mounts on them are very, very nice. Drum brakes in the back, the same as the uh, uh, ventilated drums in the front. Of course, these are not ventilated in the back, but they are drums. Um, new shocks in the back that are um, air shocks. So you have the ability to go ahead and, and adjust the uh, uh, rear ride height of this uh, particular vehicle. 10 bolt Chevy rear, original gas tank. Uh, drop downs in the quarters are just as fresh and nice as you'd ever want to find. Uh, correct style exhaust tips off the back of the 2 and 8 inch pipes. Um, floor pans in the back in the trunk, absolutely undisturbed, really nice looking. Frame sections in the back, uh, no one's had any jack stands in them to go ahead and distort them in any way. Uh, I don't see anything at all underneath this car. It, it retains most of its originality, still has most of its original undercoating from General Motors on it yet. They are the original floor pans. Uh, you can see everything is pretty much undisturbed. you got a brand new style exhaust system on it, high flow, air shocks, no leaks on the drive line anywhere, including the rear uh, differential. So you got yourself a really, really nice sound car underneath and you saw how beautiful it was interior wise and uh, we did a, a, a shoot on the outside of the car but we're going to go for a ride now and show you how it runs too. Nice car.